Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we are going to be talking about if I will summon on the new trunks that is coming out on the global side of the game. So taking a look at a couple different uh, uh, units and things that are uh, here, or the, I guess the new upcoming cards that are coming out here in the next day and two hours essentially. Uh, we do have a couple of the EZA features that are be coming up. Probably make a video on them uh, because they, they do actually get some pretty good EZAs that boost up from them. Uh, then we also have the future trunks, the gods uh, Zamasu, uh, and then also prime battle trunks, and then also androids 13, 14, and 15. So all those are going to be coming up. Definitely going to want to hit those up because they're going to be very, very important as it comes through to new prime battles that are going to happen in the future. Um, but as far as these units here, we'll actually jump on and take a look. So obviously, this has already been on the global, or excuse me, on JP. And JP's banner, I do think it's going to end up being different for us. Because as you can see here, we have AGL Kid Trunks, in which he was just recently on a banner for us. So that they had replaced him um, when we would have gotten on the tech uh, Android 17 and 18 with the Super Fujita. So I feel like that they, the easy replacement here is going to be Super Fujita replacing him. Uh, good opportunity for that. And then taking a look at uh, some of the other cards here that are going to be out. I do think uh, the, this uh, Goku Black will probably end up with a easy A coming out soon. But I guess uh, taking a look at this, will I summon for this banner? Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. It's going to have to take a lot. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, yes, I understand that, that you know, people that want to go ahead and get tickets, they can get tickets. That's perfectly fine. That We already know that those are going to be available. But outside of Guaranteed Featured and a Step Up banner, I really cannot recommend that you summon on this banner. Knowing that we not only have Saiyan Day on the horizon, we've got Golden Week coming, which may or may not have something to do with the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, because if it doesn't, you're going to have that celebration coming up. And then you turn around and say seven-year anniversary is going to be coming. So there's a potential four celebrations that could really be very, very big for us. So, yes, these are some good units. I mean, don't get me wrong, I play with these two. Um, I'm going to say frequently, just because of the fact that with Trunks and with uh, Zamasu, because of the fact that they are 120, 130 leads. So that's understandable. But I mean, like today, I was messing around on Infinite Dragon Ball History and finally played with my AGL uh, Gohan. And I mean, that's been a very long time since I've summoned for him. Um, and then, uh, not to mention here, the Goku and Trunks, when they first came out, played them for like maybe a couple days, and that's it. Unfortunately, I think the same thing would happen with these two here. But. Some people really like them, and that is perfectly fine. You summon for your gameplay. That is the most important thing that I can tell you to do. For me personally, I probably, outside of something absolutely phenomenal, am not going to be um, probably jumping in. But, hey, you never know. Taking a look at the unit itself, um, we do have uh, Team Trunks, again, me and Trusted Will, and Android Cell Saga, keep plus three. HP plus 30% and attack and defense plus 170. So there are so much better categories that are out there. Um, his super attack is going to raise defense for a turn and cause immense damage. His passive attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when attacking. And then have a great chance of launching up to two additional attacks. Launches another additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack every time the character attacks three times in battle. So, you pretty much, if you could get these two off, that's going to be great. If really you turn around and you throw up a uh, additionals onto him, yeah, he's already set up that way, and you might be thinking to yourself, well, then wouldn't I want to go criticals, because there's a chance already that I'll attack four times in a turn? Yes, but imagine those defensive raises you're going to get, one, two. It's really going to, to be nice, because if you at least give, at least, uh, I would probably say 11, because I, I think they already have five built in for AGL. So if you go at least 11 with your uh, uh, units for their for their additional, I think you're going to be perfectly fine. Because every every time they attack, so the first time they attack, they have that opportunity. And if he gets two additional attacks, you have that really a, a good chance of having, having that proctor is basically what I'm trying to say. So once he actually has conditions met, which is um, uh, his ability is just his active skill. 
Transform stuns an active uh, category. Excuse me, stuns a single targeted enemy and seals their attack for a turn, which that's obviously really good. Which his uh, activation could be activated after performing six or more attacks. So essentially, the earliest you could do it is turn five. Um, so pretty understandable there. But his uh, Super Saiyan Teen Trunks is going to be greatly raise his attack and defense for a turn and cause immense damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 100% and a great chance of performing a critical hit. Performs a critical hit once only plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. Um, then he has a plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is in the attack down status or a defensive down status. Plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is stunned or enemy has super attack sealed. So basically that first time you transform, you're going to probably be able to, to proctor that. Uh, high chance of stunning an enemy for two turns when all allies are Android Cell Saga. Which could be difficult, but at the same time, you figure if you're running the Super Vegeta on your team, and then you also have uh, uh, Gohan on your team, that's going to be pretty pretty much good to go there, not to mention some other ones. So if we take a look at what he's able to do, he has a potential of 500% attack. That's pretty devastating. But with the new meta and the way everything is going on this, the way that everything is going on this is going to be... If units are not hitting pretty consistently at about five and a half to six and a half million i think they're going to be considered lackluster in the next uh meta which we are getting you know it's going to be you know 170 category leads and then or higher and then you're 30 percent on top of for an additional one so like this guy's entrusted will they could turn around and say then android cell saga characters also get 30 percent so it would basically make them a 200 percent so it's uh, it's pretty devastating with that. I mean, it really, really makes a difference. I uh, completely get that. Uh, real quick, uh, wanted to go over the uh, Heart Virus Goku because he is very, very good. He's a Turtle School category lead, key plus three, HP attack, defense plus one thirty, greatly raises attack infinitely, and it causes immense damage. And but you do have a high chance of sacrificing seven percent of your HP. Then as a passive, his attack and defense plus 100%, raises attack and defense up to 200%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stat boost. Key plus 5, and chance of performing a critical hit, plus 59%. Reduced damage received by 59%, and a 59% of performing an additional super attack for 5 turns from the start of the turn. So basically up till turn 5, he's got those. And then reduces damage received by 59% when HP is 59% or less. And then an additional 59% defense starting from the 6th turn. So he's always going to have that 59%. Um, or at least a chance of it. And he's guaranteed it for, for 5 turns. But starting on the 6th turn, you have to be below 59%. Um, but realistically, I mean, his attack's going to get so wonky. I mean, it's going to be absolutely nuts. I mean, he, he goes through. He has a chance of raising his attack by 50% every single time he's attacking. And then, uh, yeah, he's just he's devastating. Um, but you have to remember, he's going to be coming out on not only the category banner, but then also the uh, top legendary summon banner for the seven year anniversary. So there's plenty of opportunities, not to mention he goes to the general pool. So lots of opportunities to be able to pull this guy. Uh, I do not pull side banner units, as you all know, so uh, pretty interesting from there. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to let you know a little bit more about the units and let you know that outside of something being pretty crazy, I do not recommend uh, summoning. Um, you know, e even if it's. Uh, you know, a step up multi with a guaranteed. I mean, outside of it being a step up multi guaranteed feature, I don't know if if, if I can even recommend it any other way. I mean, it, it, they're just not that good. Uh, I know that I'm seriously going to be considering if Super Fujita is on there, just buying him um, with red coins. So uh, hard to say. Really, really gotta make those decisions. But otherwise, that's it. That's me today's video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you go down, hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget those notification bell so you're notified each and every time I'm uploading a new video but otherwise that's it that's today's video thank you all very much for watching we'll talk to you guys later